Peace Israel, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha Kadash. Double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone, GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. All right. This is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. And um, this is just going to be a, a basic lesson on how to show that you, how to show how an individual is supposed to show that they love the Lord. Okay. Um, and this cuts the majority of these so-called Christians. You know, they'll say they love the Lord in one one breath, but in another breath, they'll tell you that the law is done away with. Okay. Well, here we're being instructed on how to show that we do love the Lord. So, what I further do? This is the book of Saint John, chapter fourteen. In verse 15, it says, if ye love me, keep my commandments. Okay? That's very simple. And we know we can't keep the commandments 100%, but we keep the ones, you know, the ones that we're able to keep. We, we, we try our best to keep them, you know, <clears throat> without going off. And if you go off, then repent. Okay? Um, now I was thinking in the Catholic church, there's something that is called, uh, a confessional. All right. Where you go and you confess your sins to the priest. Well, how do you know? Well, what's the standard? How do you know that you're breaking? How do you know that you're committing sin? Because sin is transgression of the law. Okay. How do you know you? How do you know that you're committing sin? If the law is done away with, okay. Just a side note, but anyway, it's just a quick, basic lesson. So it says, "If ye love me, if ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and He shall give you another Comforter, that He may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive." Okay. Two-thirds of our people cannot receive this truth, man. All right? As the scripture says, um, matter of fact, I'll grab it right quick. Let me put this incident out. All right. Okay. So lock you. Bear with me one second. Let me get the book of Romans. All right. All right, it's the book of Romans. Oh, man, okay. Bear with me, the pages are sticking together. All right. This is Romans chapter 11 and verse 7. It says, What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Okay, according as it is written, the heavenly Father hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. See and hear what? The understanding of this word, okay? The world cannot receive, okay? Two-thirds of our people, they can't receive this, okay? Only the elect and the one-third is going to be able to receive this. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right? Okay, so let's go on a little more. <clears throat> I want to read to 21. Okay, it says, um, verse 17, St. John 14 and 17, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, all right, but ye know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you, okay? And I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me, because I live. Ye shall also, ye shall live also, okay? 
At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, okay, and I in I in you, okay. So, what does that mean? You know, because people like to say uh, the Heavenly Father and the Son, they they all and the, the Holy the the Holy Trinity, okay, they all one, okay. So then, do we become all one with the Father? And the son, I mean, are we going to all be the same entity? Like, like you know, are we going to become a part of the trinity? It ain't going to be a trinity no more. It won't be tri. It'll be quad. Is that what this is saying? No. Meaning this truth is going to be in us. Because this truth is the Lord, man. Okay? So let me read that one more time. It says, At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father. Okay, but they're still two separate uh, beings. Okay, how is it that the heaven that Yahweh Shai don't know when he's gonna return? Only the Father. Okay, how wouldn't he know if they all won? If it's a, a, that so-called Trinity, you know, that they like to teach in the uh, so-called church. Okay, let me get that off of there. All right. Um. It says, uh, let me see where I was. Yeah, uh, verse 21, okay, it's the verse I wanted to get to. It says, he that, he that had my commandments and keepeth them, it he it is that loveth me. You see? So this is how to show love to the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and ultimately Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. Okay, it says, He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father. See, it goes in order. Okay, it says, And I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Okay, so this is how an individual. A Israelite is supposed to show their love for the Lord, okay? By doing what? What we're supposed to do. Living by these, these law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, okay? Which entails a lot, okay? Doing these lessons is a commandment, okay? Going out and preaching is a commandment. Loving your brother like you love yourself. Okay, and I could go on and on and on. All right, and these are commandments that we're able to keep. Okay, uh, paying your tights. Okay, I'm just brainstorming. Okay, not lying one to another. All right, um, you know, so this is how we show that we love the Lord. Okay, the one the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I'm going to end it right there. All right. Because this is just a short, basic le lesson. Okay. This is how you show. This is how individual shows that they love the Lord. Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay. And then ultimately, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay. Lord willing, this was edifying. You know. Because... Another reason for this is there's a lot of brothers and sisters that are coming in just finding out who they are, okay? And they need the milk, okay? They need to get uh, built up, okay? So these milk lessons are very, very necessary, okay? And I'm going to end it right there again and give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Bahashem in the name Yahweh Shai, which is his only begotten son. All right, Bahashem Rachakodash in the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay, double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. 
which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics. Okay. And with that, I'm going to say shallow warm.